Hi there, this is James Whistler from Acid Yellow, and this video is going to show you how to navigate the page sections within an Ironspeed Designer generated application. So here we see a typical page within an Ironspeed Designer generated application. In this case, it's uh, the show categories table page within the Southwind example that ships with the product. Um, and you can see at the top, we have a header where we're going to be able to place our application logo. We've got a menu control, and then underneath that we've got the categories table, consisting here of a filter section, a button control section, which enables us through pagination to navigate through, and then the various different uh, detail rows within the table. So that all looks great, and we like the formatting and design of these pages. I think they're easy to work with, but how does that relate to what we see when we go into the designer itself? and how do we maintain the nature and, and structure of that page. So I'm going to move across into Ironspeed Designer and here you'll see we're looking at exactly the same page in within the uh, Ironspeed Designer product that we were looking at within the browser a moment ago. Um, in the left hand side here we've got our application explorer and you can see that we've highlighted the show categories table page over here on the right, towards the right of the Application Explorer, we've got the Quick Layout Editor. And you'll see that I've selected cell 1, and within cell A, or cell A1 rather, and within cell A1, we have the Categories Table Control. Above there, we have what's known as the breadcrumb. And the breadcrumb is one of the two ways that we can navigate through our page hierarchy. So in this case, I can click the little arrow here and within the show categories table ASPX page you'll see that I have a categories table control. This is exactly the same categories table control that I'm looking at here within cell A1. And if I click into there, you'll see that my breadcrumb is beginning to track my movement down the hierarchy of the page. So I've effectively come in at the master page level, of course, on every ASPX page within our application, we would have a master page definition above it. But in this case, I'm now working my way down. I'm now within the categories table control. And you can see within the table control, I have a panel header and then the panel itself inside a collapsible region. If I now click the breadcrumb here, you can see that I can select which of those two I'd like to move down inside. So I'm going to decide to move into the categories panel. You can see now that the quick layout editor has changed once again. I can now see that I have a filter section a button section and a field section and those sections are exactly what we saw here we've got our filter section here this is our button section including the pagination control and the reset filters button and underneath here are the fields or panel itself containing the detail rows in the field section in addition to being able to use this pop down within the breadcrumb above the quick layout editor any section that I look at within the Quick Layout Editor that's underlined a little bit like a hyperlink is telling me that that's another uh, descending level of detail within the page. So for example, I can double click on the Categories Fields label because it's underlined, it looks like a hyperlink. I can double click on there and again, you'll see the breadcrumb has now reflected that I've moved down into the Categories Fields section. And there we've got the labels, the column headings uh, for the table and underneath there we've got the various rows of the table with the field names existing within them. To the right of the breadcrumb I have a, a little plus and a minus button. In this instance you can see that the plus is greyed out. I can't zoom in any further from what I've selected within the quick layout editor but I have got a minus so I can zoom out and as I zoom out you'll see that both the breadcrumb and the quick layout editor view is changing as I navigate my way all the way back up the page hierarchy. At this point I now can no longer zoom back out. I'm at the top level of the page looking at the very high level page controls. In this case that's the categories table control. So we have those uh, two or possibly even more different ways of navigating around our application. We can either use the breadcrumb, operate in these pop-out options. In addition if I were to select an area of the screen which is underlined as I mentioned previously such that we could double click it you'll also see I've now got the plus button so I can zoom into that area so if I select categories panel I can click zoom in 
So rather than double clicking, I can use the zoom in and zoom out buttons to navigate my way down. Both of those work really well. However, in addition to the right of the breadcrumb, you'll see a drop down control here. And this is one of the most useful ways of navigating around the application. By clicking open that drop down, you'll see that we immediately get displayed, a little bit like a tree view control, a full hierarchical layout of the page displayed to us at one go. The advantage of using this is that by simply highlighting and clicking on this selected area, I can navigate from any area of the page to any other area of the page in one click. Whereas if I'm using the breadcrumb or the quick layout editor, I clearly need to click or navigate numerous times to get to the area I'm interested in. Whilst that is obviously looking very useful, it'll become more apparent to you quite how useful that is as you build more complex page layouts. So it may well be, for example, that you have a, a show detail page for a record with numerous table controls that are related to that record control. So let's have a look. If we go to the show categories page, for example, so we're now looking at a different page. I'm going to go to the top level and you'll see this page is slightly more complex. We have the categories record control at the top and then we have underneath it a tab container with a products table control underneath it. So that's going to display products which exist within the category depending on which category you've selected. So whilst I could obviously use the quick layout editor in the breadcrumb to navigate my way through that, you'll see if we pull this down this is becoming more complex. So here we can identify very easily whether we want to look at the categories fields within the record control for categories or whether we'd like to look at the products fields for the table control. So I can click straight to here, I can look at my fields within the products table and I can click here and go straight to the categories record control in addition. So either of these methods can be used, any of them can be used in conjunction with any of the others. The intention is for from designer is to give you a ease of use and a degree of understanding of where you are within the constructs of the page. So the combination of using the breadcrumb with this drop down control should help you to find your way around even very complex page layouts. That's all for this video. I hope you found that useful. There's plenty more information about uh, the various different methods of navigation either within the remaining videos uh, or on the forums. Thanks for watching.